My three day level one teacher training is by far my most favorite course to teach. It basically takes the last two decades of working with dancers both clinically and in workshops all around the world and condenses it into a way to help provide dance teachers and health professionals with the most effective and efficient ways of resolving some of the really common problems with dancers and dance students. So what is actually involved? Well, on the first day, we look at how a normal human is meant to function and ideal ways of looking at postural control, at flexibility and at core control. We look at how to assess each other and our dancers to find exactly what is restricting some of these issues. So rather than just pushing into range, I've had to really unravel exactly what is the structure that's restricting mobility and how to deal with this in the most effective and efficient way possible. On day two, we start delving into basic classical technique. So looking at things such as standing in first, standing in fifth, plie, rise, tendu, retire. But not just looking at whether somebody can or can't do it well. Looking at all of the really deep intrinsic reasons why a different individual might struggle when they're moving on fondue or why they might have a restricted point range. And again, looking at the most intelligent and effective ways of resolving these within the class and within the clinic. We then take some time to really deeply assess the hip because especially in recent years, one of the most common complaints that I get from teachers and from clinicians is that they're having a sudden rise in the number of hip injuries. So we look at how to actually assess range in all different directions. Turn out on standing, turn out in fondue, turn out divan, a la seconde and in an arabesque. And looking at exactly what structure is restricting that so that we can be really intelligent in crafting a mobilization program to help improve range for that specific individual. We then look at retraining range and control in all directions because training standing leg turnout is different to training turnout on fondue or a la seconde. So we need to have very specific ways of dealing with this. On the third day, we also look at retraining jumps, how to get maximal power and efficiency, and especially when we're looking at returning to jumps following injury, because that's often a really scary time for some dancers. And then finally, we start looking at safe ways of improving spinal mobility and our arabesque line, which is a really nice way to tie everything that you've learned in the three days together. I really want to make this easy for people to use into their studios, so we do a lot of theory, but we also do a lot of practical work of really exploring how each exercise feels in our body and looking at how to assess it on students, but also on each other. A lot of teachers have a fabulous time and discover lots of things about their own body that they didn't realize, and a lot also regain a lot of the function that they used to have when they were spending a little bit more time focusing on their own body. So I absolutely love teaching this workshop. I teach it all around the globe. So keep an eye out for when I'm doing it in a location near you and hopefully I'll see you soon.